Hello, this is Bern, and if a man has recently broken your heart and you want to understand how to not just get over the breakup, but thrive because of it, you're in the right place and you definitely want to watch my full episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm excited today because I'm going to show you how to not just get over a breakup and how to overcome a breakup and thrive because of the breakup, okay? If I get it, a man broke your heart recently, he did something really bad and you decided to part ways or you both on your own mutually agreed that this wasn't the best fit for you and you decided to part ways and now you're feeling like your life is ending, like your life is crumbling, you feel sad, you feel you can't work, you can't think, you don't even want to connect with friends. If that's the case, anywhere in between is where you are right now. I'm going to tell you that it's incredibly possible to change this and I'm going to give you a four step blueprint to create this change. Step number one is combine moments of intense feeling with intense liberation. And here's what I mean. Most of us either get to try to do something to change the way we feel and make ourselves feel better or totally succumb to the pain and can't see anything but the pain. Both of those extremes are wrong and here's why. Because if you just feel the pain and don't see anything else, you're BSing yourself. It's not the truth that, that life is so gloomy. If you suppress the pain, then you're not allowing yourself to experience this. It's gonna come bite you in the ass. So what I mean by this is give yourself times in the day where you just fully 100% let go and let this thing hit you in the heart, completely cry, shout, whatever the hell you have to do to get it out of your system. Give yourself a limited amount of time to experience this. Don't let it go for the entire day. Do that and because you do it with more intensity, your body feels like it has release. The second part of this is now with the equal amount of time that you're dedicating to feeling like crap and it's okay. You're experiencing grief and it's necessary. You have to experience it. You, do, you start doing things that fill you up with life. Things that if you're completely honest with yourself, if you don't bullshit yourself, there's things you've stopped doing in this relationship. There's things that you've compromised on. There's people you've stopped connecting with. There's situations that you no longer get yourself into. There's classes that you want to take that you haven't taken. There's books you want to read that you haven't read. There's movies you want to watch that your partner didn't like so you didn't watch them. You start doing all of that. That's what I call radical liberation. You start doing all the things that you really want to do that you haven't stopped, you stopped doing because you were with this person. You start going to them one by one until your heart starts feeling an equal amount of pain and aliveness. So at the beginning it's going to be a challenge. Because Why? Because your body's going to want to stay in pain. Because it feels comfortable to feel pain. But if you start combining this, if you really step courageously and say, you know what? My life might feel like it's ending, but it's not really ending. And you start doing some of these things, the momentum will carry you through. So that's step number one. Step number two, incredibly important. Write this down. Stop contact with your partner. Eliminate this. Stop hurting yourself. And here's why. I mean, of course, if, you're, if your partner, ex-partner is a guy and he was your husband and you have children, well, you can't fully eliminate contact, but you can reduce the contact, right? So what I'm saying is that if you can avoid contact, it's better. And here's why, because it's going to give you a chance to heal. I know that you want to get some things across and understand. If you really stop contact, it's like if you have an open wound and that open wound is hurting and is bleeding and it finally starts healing. And at the moment it starts healing, you get a bit of sandpaper and you start rubbing against that open wound. What's going to happen? You're going to start bleeding again. That's exactly what happens to your heart every time that you break up with someone and you reconnect just for a little bit. It starts bleeding again and it's not necessary, but if you allow a lot of time to heal and to get better and to get stronger, to get more you, <laughs> and then you have to connect, then it's, it's a completely different story. So that's step number two. Step number three is solve a bigger problem. It might seem that the problem you have right now is that your life feels like it's crumbling because this person's no longer in your life. But if you really look deep down on this, your problem might really be that you have no true purpose beyond this relationship or that the purpose that you have right now has changed and you haven't given time for the new purpose that you have to really emerge and start doing things that make you feel intensely alive. Or it might be that there's things that you are afraid of doing that you need to really step, start doing now because this void is giving you an opportunity to experience pain but also experience the truth of who you are and now you're going to start doing more things. So connect to a higher purpose basically. Connect to the truth of why you're here and start, if you've stopped or procrastinated doing something that is going to allow your deepest gift and your mission to be expressed, 
in some way, use this void and this pain as an opportunity to recreate yourself, to create a new life, to reinvent who you are, to figure out exactly what are the qualities that you want to connect with and from to the world and start doing it and start being that woman that you have always been inside but have not really shown up as. And the last step, step number four, if you really want to not just get over a breakup but fucking thrive from a breakup is step into faith, my friend. And faith is not this hallmark idea of I hope shit changes for me. That is hope. (laughs) Faith is when you absolutely know that there's a reason why everything in life takes place. And this is no exception. As much as you want to believe, well, this is the exception. God is punishing me or the the, the universe is punishing me or the law of attraction is punishing me. Whatever the hell you're thinking, step into faith and know that you are able to recreate whatever experience you want in your life, that everything happens for a reason, that this is an opportunity for you to step into something bigger than you used to be and for you to connect to a person who understands you better, who loves you more deeply, who has a deeper level of compassion. And if you know that this is the case, if you don't go into the story and to the soap opera of my life is ruined and you, and you know that many times in life things have happened where you feel it's the end and it's a new beginning, every death comes with a resurrection, <laughs> basically. And that's what I'm telling you here right now. Step into the faith of knowing that this is reason, that there's a good reason why this is happening and that you'll figure it out and you have the courage to step into this new life. If you think this is powerful, if you think this is helpful, then I ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the screen here, there's gonna be a button that shows up that allows you to sign up to my free webinar, which is a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Really powerful stuff and it's free. And if you have any questions for me, I also ask you to leave a comment below. Let me know what you got from this. If you think I'm full of crap, let me know. If you think, if you agree with me, let me know. And if you have questions for me, I'll be happy. I'm at a point in my life where I can take, I have the luxury of answering every single comment that comes my way right now. That will not be the case my entire life, but right now I can do this. So if you have a question for me, I'll happily reply to it. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. (laughs) 